What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's been a little while. Me and Devin, uh, we had Christmas and what else? Holidays, man. Holidays. Holidays. Vi YouTube videos for us aren't number one priority during the holidays, but we're back and you know where we're at. We gotta go get some of that Colombian coffee. Colombian coffee. Dude, how cold is it? Man, I got the bear skin on. You got that bear skin Just one, la on. one layer of bear skin and some bibs and it works. It's great. Yeah, all right. You look like a sheep. <laughs> I feel like a sheep. You look like a sheep. Let's go get some coffee. Sheep dog. That's the deal right there. We're gonna get the 20 ounce. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick though. Put that little bit of ice in there. Put it in before. Don't put it in after. I did that one time. And I got hot coffee all over my hands. Splashed everywhere. So good. I can drink it right away like that. Big gulps, huh? That's the deal. Look at this sheep. Bah. Bah. I gotta show you guys my new wheels. I'm all excited about these. I just got those on yesterday. I think they're awesome. Gotta match the wrap. All right, so deal today, five pound smallmouth. That's our goal today. I think that, I think it's a good goal. I think it is a realistic goal, five pound smallmouth. Fish all day and catch a five pounder, I'm good with it. I mean, obviously we're still gonna try and get other bites and all that, but like our goal, what we're gonna be targeting is a big smallmouth, so. I think it's good. Been a while. I know. I haven't caught a smallmouth since Michigan. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was back in September. September. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. All right, we're gonna drive up to the lake and get after it with the five pound smallmouth, see if we can do it. Looks pretty good, Devin. A lot of current, good looking water. It's actually not that cold either, huh? No, it feels amazing. I think it feels amazing anyways. Five pound smallies. Literally there's just, one out there. Just throwing that out there. We really, I mean, I'm sure there is. We have no idea if it's actually gonna work. All right, let's get this thing started. Got too many rods on the deck though. Even it out a little bit. I can't stand when my stuff is, it's gotta be nice and clean. Somebody just shot a deer. Devin's backing me in right now. Gonna get this thing started. Five pound smallmouth. I want one, like really bad. It's been a, it's been a minute. Water clarity looks pretty nice. It's got just a little stain to it, but should be good. Crankbait and a, and a jig, possibly a spinnerbait. I'm gonna check the water temp here in a second. I think it's gonna be awesome. Nothing like driving to the as long as we did to the boat ramp and then dropping the trolling motor right by it. You know what would be better? I got a fish. Dude, small mouth too, I think. No, it's a large mouth. Well, that is a start. It's a large mouth. The water's up. There's like some riprap and stuff down there. A lot of times, right around boat ramps like this, all this riprap. It extends out a little bit further. That's where he was. Dude, he was cold too. Oh, he felt like he was about frozen. <laughs> it says 49 degrees, but he felt like he was about 36. God, he smashed it too. Hey, Devin. Hey, Justin. That wasn't a small mouth. No, but it was within five or 10 casts. But that was kind of cool. Nice fish. There's one. Be the big smolly. Be the big smolly. Oh, dude. Well, small jaws. No, that's five pounder. It ain't no five pounder. It's a good one though. Heck yeah. He smoked it, man. Upside of that current too. I almost left, but it's a good one. Come here. Both flip them. Eh, three and a half, three and a quarter, two and three quarter. Keeps going down. What do you think? Colored up for sure. Relatively shallow. 
like yeah. up, up in that current too. I thought I thought he was a big one at first, not gonna lie. I mean it's they all feel big though, dude. Like, especially when you haven't caught one in a while. Yeah. But it smoked it and then just went straight to deep water. Yep. Oh, he's clumped down on it. See ya. Burning it. Like as fast as I could reel the crankbait. Yeah. You gotta be kidding. Other smallmouth. Same size? Uh, that one's digging. He's digging hard. I love, uh, that's why I switched to this rod. Oh, crap. This rod is legit. You seen it yet? Yeah, it's a nice one. Dude. Oh. Right here, you hit spotlight. Okay. Come on. That's a good one. Yeah, nice one. Chewing that little current bait, dude. That's so much fun. That's the guy we're catching them on right there. I mean, you can see how fast this current is. Let go. You can see how fast this current is, and they are smoking it. They're just hiding behind these rocks right here. A little current break right there, just enough. I'm not gonna lie. Can you that's... feel it just rolling over the rocks? Oh, it just, they slam it. A senior line, man. Dude. Smaller, small meal. Wasn't sure if he was bigger. He was uh, where it was supposed to be, though. Dude, as soon as it hit the bottom, too. I mean, I seen your line swimming. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. The line started swimming Dude, left. Look how good I hooked him. I mean, hook point all the way out right there. I can barely turn the jig. Look how good he's hooked. He wasn't coming off. There's no way. Here's a really good question. Hmm. How do you know it's a heat? That's a good point. I don't. Put joint. Gypped old flag over and cocked you one, didn't you? Yeah, man. First first bite on a jig, huh? Yeah. What's that? You need to quit being a shrimp with them fish. Being a shrimp with them fish. Yeah, being shellfish. Shelf. <laughs> You're an idiot, dude. He is an idiot. We uh, we got to change. We had to change batteries real quick, but I want to give you guys a little quick little look at what we're fishing and uh, just the water temp and time of year and all that. So it is January. It's cold. It's probably what 40 degrees, maybe 40, yeah. 44, something like that. There's a ton of current right now, but these fish, you know, if there's this much current, they've got to be pushed just out of it. They don't want to be fighting that stuff right now. So they're definitely using these current breaks. You can see right here, there's a couple little knobs right here. And that's what we just got that last one on uh, with the jig. Water temp, 48 degrees, pretty, pretty cold. I mean, honestly, dead of winter. So, uh, so far three on a crankbait, one on a jig, not bad, honestly. And Devin has not caught one yet. Four. To zero. You're sucking. He's he's I'm, sucking. I'm aware of that. But. He's aware of it. But yeah, pretty good so far. Jig and crankbait. Kind of what we thought. Water's a little bit cleaner. Might pick up a swim bait a little bit later, but I'm gonna get back after it. Are you Hungala? No. There you go. Damn. I think that's some Good, uh, another Gosh, man. Your bait. Did you put the gas in the boat this morning? Sunscreen. <laughs> Sunscreen. <laughs> I couldn't even say it. <laughs> not laughing. We're still a far cry from a five pounder, though. I 
think two in there, three one, dude. <sighs> Jeez. Six to zero, Devin. You mean say that there, again? I threw in there three times. Three times? Yep. Do you have a little twin tail grub on the back? He's no. kind of skinny, dude. For middle of winter? Yeah. You guys can see how close we're holding to this little current seam, just crawling up this bank. And he was right up there in between those two rocks. Right where Devin threw how many times? Three. Three times. <laughs> Just broke off and retied. It's our little half ounce jig we're throwing with a little double tail grub on it. I really like that double tail grub in the winter, especially for smallmouth. Spotted bass love it too in the winter. There, dude. Campbell. If you don't get bit on that one, we're gone. Campbell's in the. Did you get oh him? Oh my god. Are you. What'd you do? He just come off, dude. I mean, I got smoked, but he just come off. Did you really get bit? Yeah. <laughs> did you? I'm serious. I swear I did. I had one on. It wasn't big, though. Or it was running at the boat. Probably running at the boat. Bunning at the road. Catch fish. Yep. That's a stick. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then it's lunchtime. That's what Devin brought for lunch. It's Quail lunch. eggs. Lunch of champions. I swear it's just an Alabama thing, but these things are super good. And he's got this little sauce. Where did you find that sauce at? It came in a gift pack. Came in a gift pack. But you just take it, take a little bite. Throw a little dabble on. Dude, mm. that's a deal. It is good. It's super good. But yeah, feeling. Still looking for a five pounder, but we're knocking out some quail eggs until then. Same spot as earlier, dude. Mm. He's a jumper. Something about right there for sure. God, that's so mean. Come here. Is it like that little corner? I think what it is is just watch out for me right here. I got you. Um there's like two rocks, dude, or three rocks that I can hit furthest out there. And when I do that, I catch one. I just hadn't hit him. I mean, he's not anything special, but still cool. I hit it again right there. There he is. That's a better one, too. Dude, is it a five or no? It's a big one. That's a nice one. Oh my god! Did it come off? Jeez. That was... That was a four. That was really close. I don't think it was a five, but it was a four. <clears throat> Free, dude. I don't think it was a five pounder. I think it was four pounds, but... I don't know. That freaking sucks. That was our biggest one of the day, for sure. There's one little rock right here that's, like when we can hit that rock, you get bit, right? There, I'll hit it there. 
it hit it when I brought it over that rock, dude. Like, I felt it come over the rock. I heard him say, there's that rock. And yeah. Then, and then, like, three seconds later, or two seconds later. All right, so we're finishing up for the day. It was a good day, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't, through, in this heavy current, there are these one cast spots, you know, and if you're not getting that perfect cast, you're not going to catch the fish. But the jig, definitely a player. We said it at the beginning of the day that a crankbait and a jig were probably going to be the big players. We threw a half ounce jig. It's a little Arky style jig uh, with the twin tail grub on it. And then we put a little bit of orange. I love orange in the winter on the back of my craw baits. Uh, the first fish I caught, that largemouth, was on this crankbait. And it's more, this is a fatter square bill type crankbait. It's a square bull from Berkeley. The water was so clear today, way clearer than I expected it to be. Uh, I love this color, but I just felt like that bait was too much, like too much action. So we went with uh, the flat side of bait. This is the Fritz side, Berkeley Fritz side. And we threw that because it is just a little bit more natural in this real clear water with the tighter action on the wiggle and everything. Uh, that's not the color I was catching them on. I lost that one. That was the last one I had, but this is a good color too. Uh, candy apple red. Spray tan was the one I was throwing. So those are the baits we used. Kept it really simple today. It's always hard to beat a good jig bite and crankbait bite. So that's what we stuck with today. We probably could have caught them on some other stuff, but honestly, why why argue with it i mean devin doesn't know what a crankbait bite feels like anymore but i do and it feels really good so oh yeah and a jig bite does too <laughs> anyway appreciate you guys watching this youtube video as always uh the gear is linked below you can check it all out on tacklewarehouse.com other than that there's gonna be some other videos popping up on the screen right now and we will see you guys next time